Well, that could have gone only slightly better. <laughs> I hardcore targeted Echo. Echo went home. The limes stuck together. So we have a solid six. Sylvie, the one person who I don't want anything to do with, voted with the minority. So now she's in the minority and everyone wants Sylvie out. And to top up the beauty of everything to do with that tribal council, I got a hidden immunity idol in front of everyone. And everybody thought I was just being an idiot, picking up random shit. Like, I, I we trust you 100%. I trust like, you. You are the only person I trust. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. It's just game. No, I listen. I will stick with you for as long as you stick with me. It's as simple as that. How perfect was that being? Oh my god! I'm <laughs> just so happy right now. I mean, it, it's. I, I gotta keep it on. Keep it. Keep it lit. No one knows about the idol. I trust total. I trust P a lot. Um, but I can't can't tell them about the idol because that's a reason to vote somebody out and i feel like people will tell me more likely than people my name comes up if uh if i if they don't think i have an idol but yeah no sugar i'm i was already <laughs> told by super that it was probably i was getting some yeah i really honest i'm just used to getting voted as long fair. as which is why I'm just pledging my loyalty to this group right now. Well, the the beauty of that, which is something I didn't expect to go in my favor, boom, it said that was the merge idol. Boom, stood in front of everyone and said, I'm playing the merge idol, so no one has any idea the merge idol is there. It's not. It's in hey, it's in my it's in my freaking inventory. This is I, the, this is beautiful. What an absolutely perfect tribal council. And now I'm just gonna ride a few votes. We'll play a bit safely. And when my name inevitably comes up, I have myself a bloody hidden immunity idol to coast my way for another tribal council. Mwah. Fucking brilliant. I tried flipping last tribal. I I don't know if it worked or not. I thought I had some allies. It's obvious that PvP is running the show right now. I am not in a good mood to play with any of my old tribe. I'm a flipper. I can't spell it out for you, but I know that I'm a flipper. As far as, as, far as I'm concerned, my alliance with Boom is over. That was infuriating. I told him, do not play that idol. And he was like, I'm scared, I'm scared. I don't want to get booted out. Yeah, he so not I played the idol, and he played the fucking idol. That was infuriating. I told Boom not to play the idol because it was so obvious that they weren't going to vote for him because I was the obvious vote. It was going to be either me or Echo, and I was willing to risk that it wasn't me, and just hold on to the idol and have it as protection just in case. And he didn't do it. So now I don't trust Boom at all. So from what I'm at right now, I'm pissed at Socks. I'm pissed at PvP. But we still everyone. have a lifeline. We have a lifeline. Come over here. Super's following us. Come over here. Come here. I don't know. I'm literally at the Look bottom at this. at this point. I feel like I'm playing with a bunch of... I feel like I'm playing with people. The people I was playing with were idiots. So I found ah. an idol. It's my original idol from the original camp. I have shit, to use really? it to save us too. Yeah, I just showed it to you. Did you not look? <laughs> here. Oh shit. Can I see it? Uh, I'm keeping it, but it's it's legit the hidden mini like, idol. Name idol? Like, yeah, it's idol. called hidden mini idol. Um, code eyes, and then the thorns three. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna have to use this together. We're in the minority position. They're all playing like complete assholes. I fucking fooled all of them by making them think I legitimately found the merge idol. You think I can fucking find an idol by myself? What are you fucking stupid? I'm I'm like practically brain dead. Um, yeah, so, Echo, Otka, I mean, as much as I hate to say it, that Otka, or Echo's out, Otka's in the clear, they have no idea that he was in with my idol find, but, or not my idol find, really, Echo found the thing, and then I picked it out of the dispenser, and then whatever, but it's fine. Now I have to try to find this real merge idol, because I know it's out there. I need to be able to get through to Boom that we could work with him, and... Like maybe maybe um, I can form a three-way alliance with him and Sugar, because Sugar is the only person in this game I trust in my life. The idol play confuses me on so many different levels, you know. I I told him not to play it. I, I said mm. don't play it. Like if someone's <laughs> out, then we have an idol to work with for the final t for us too. And he was like, no, I want to hold on to it. Gotta get rid of anyone next. The obvious person would obviously Sylvie. But I think a blind side on Salt could really work out in our favor because this whole situation seems to be like a monarchy kind of thing and Sox is really ruling it all 
when he really shouldn't. So yeah. it confuses me too. If if I'm being honest with you, I think it is a positive. And the reason that I've said this is that now we know you don't have an idol, it will allow more people to be like, okay, we don't have to necessarily target them. They'll try and do more simple stuff, and that's when people can. I agree. It, it's not in the complexity of a plan that gets confusing. It's when the plan is so simple that people think this is so simple, we should do something. Like he's like, like I, I basically control his vote. I feel. So if I can make something positive work with who I'm thinking is Sugar and uh, Joe, who came up to me and are really friendly with me about forming sort of a, a way to get out Sylvie, then that could be really great. So right now, I almost got eliminated last night, and I know I fi essentially figured out what happened. So Shockers, she's a snake, and she threw my name out because she's trying to get me to trust her so then she can blindside because like, yeah. You know, Hey, yeah. l listen, they, they they told me the entire time we we're going for socks, and every single time I was like, I'd rock our Echo yeah. any day of the week. I even told Socks right before, like, by the way, heads be in my Okay, game. right now, I am in what I'd say is a pretty strong position in this game. I think the original Lime tribe is sticking together, and I feel like I've made solid connections with each individual on that tribe. So they will be making up the majority of the jury, and hopefully when I get there to final tribal council, they'll be willing to give me the vote to make me the sole survivor. Like, being 100% real here, Boom just played that idol. He wasted it's a merge idol. There's a new he, one. That's right. We need, we need to go look. We need to go look. We need people Please. tracking all three of them, and we need people looking. All I, don't trust. I really want Sylvia out of this. I, I do. I am a little concerned because there have been a lot of times where conversations are happening, and everyone's off in their own groups, and I'm sitting in the middle with no one really talking to me. As of right now, I'm just trying to lay low, stay under the radar, not put myself at the highest threat level. So right now, I've been playing both sides and making it look like people are in front of me and leading me. Well, really, they're just doing my dirty work. I've solidified connections with Boom, Toad. Oh my gosh, everyone basically except for Sylvia. So right now, Sylvia's a loose cannon. I kind of want them gone, to be completely honest. My internet is like cutting out right now. I'm gonna give it to you just in case I crash and I won't be able to play the season. But if I return, will you give it back? Yeah, sure. Honestly, I don't know what was it going to become with my alliance with Sylvia, uh, whether I would have been forced to vote her out or whether we could have made something of it. But having this idol gives me a lot more power in this game, and hopefully, I can play it. Uh, hopefully, I can play it uh, in a very useful and pivotal moment in the game that's going to help uh, the Magenta Tribe climb back and uh, beat this core Lime group uh grub tribe i'm sorry to say but sylvia had the walk from the game she had some personal problems that she had to attend to with her family all right i'm glad i'm not gonna lie kind of glad she walked even though she did vote with us the last time all she's really done is just you know cause a whole ruckus and just cause people to you know hate her and stuff so it's, you know kind of a w in my opinion Make, gets me further and and um Odka further into the game and it takes out somebody who you know everybody didn't like in the first place well we're gonna start the game back up tomorrow take the rest of this time to uh just kind of enjoy yourselves and we'll get back into the game tomorrow sound good okay yeah, thanks officer. okay i played right. the dim idol see you guys so i wasn't voted out i mean i found an idol i won challenges never actually been to tribal council without immunity so take that away you know i have close allies i'll definitely leave the game with friends it just sucks that my internet chooses the wrong times to crash out it's like this is so fun and if i was invited back to another season you know i'd gladly accept so thank you for having me in the season from a game standpoint this is the gr this has been the greatest 24 hours of life that tribal council followed by sylvie leaving is it's beyond fantastic. It's it's literally the perfect scenario for me. Like, I was going to get rid of Sylvie in the next two tribal... Well, try and get rid of Sylvie in the next two tribals as it is. And I don't have to worry about that anymore. Sylvie's gone. Stand and shoot. Arrows will fall. There is only one team to rule them all. Be on the right side. Time away is your prize. Majority rule. We might be warm! No. <laughs> I'm doing the stupid fucking yeah, sweat off today. Is it a super bomb? I'm kind of, I'm kind of glad that um, a lot of the people I've been talking with to try to gain trust have sticked together. 
And I feel like I'm in a good spot within this tribe. I don't know if flip-flopping is going to be a sustainable game move, but at the same time, I don't... This is going to be one of the only opportunities to break up this kind of big group of of basically our six. This will be the only time to make a move against that, I think, for a while. I think that people within it feel very close to one another. Welcome to your first and only reward challenge. In today's challenge, four of you will be standing on the, the posts on either side. You'll be trying to shoot a bow over an arrow over the wall and into the other team's goal. As we go on, the points will get harder and harder to uh, obtain. So say if Pink scores a point first, their target will be um, limited. But the, since the green hasn't scored yet, their target will not. First to three points will win the challenge. Survivor's ready, go. First person. And green has scored a point. Survivor's so ready, go. Oh, that's a point for green. Got it. Yay. So Dude. it's one to one. No, one one. First to three. Survivor's ready, go. Uh. And that's another point for pink. Got it again. Survivor's ready. Go. And that's a point for pink. I mean for green. Green, green, not pink. Survivor's ready? No. Go. Wait, Wait did you break ours? Yeah. Wait, Oxy, I don't see how that solves the problem because it's still the same angle. Yeah. No, no, it's a different angle. Just trust me. Uh, okay. I, I'm assuming I, he I, tested I, this I, for all I, the I difficulty made levels. In, I made it in like that before. Ow. <laughs> yeah, get fucked, nerd! Oh, to see if this doesn't work, I have another idea. Okay. okay. Why don't we just have oh, a fight to the death? Oh, what the fuck? I saw one go in. Is it in there? Yeah, it's in there, yeah. Oh, no, and the green has won. Alright, so, oh, yeah. green team, congratulations. You guys will go to the original marine boat and have a little nice time there. Uh, can't see you the stand for PvP, Boom, Akka, and Shay. You guys may head back to camp. Alright guys, welcome to your reward. You guys may open your chest. Oh, why is there okay, a Okay, no? what is this? And why was it written by Dim? Oh. I don't like this. It's T a T H E R E I Oh god. Bye boys! I'm kinda of annoyed with how that went, because I, mean, I was on a team of people I didn't particularly want to be with. They are the last people I'd like to work with. They were all thinking Oh yes, let's go to Carcock strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want a begonging. Oh, I don't want a begonging. I, I'm completely different to all three of them. Yeah, it, if you click fast oh, enough, no. you'll associate the letters, and it says there is an advantage on the boat. This reward was kind of pointless for me because I didn't find shit, and this is not really a four I really wanted to talk to. But I'm kind of like done with this whole. Lime strong thing. It's kind of it's kind of bullshit to me at this point. Socks and PvP are running the entire thing. Best though, how would a chest blend in with the sails? Wait. If we're like in a shulker, maybe. So I was scavenging around the book and the boat, and I happened to find myself some uh, oxy queen. And this advantage, it's back from season three, returning from season two and three. This authentic OxyClean advantage. With this advantage, you can erase someone's vote at tribal council, essentially blocking their vote. You will play this after everyone's vote. Have fun. Last time to play is Final Five. This is huge. When we're getting to the end game, I'm definitely gonna have to make some big moves, and this OxyClean is just what I needed to pull off those moves. So, no luck finding it, but I know at least someone did, because if you look back here, sneaky little chest hidden behind the other chests. Someone's not telling the truth, which is the part about this that sucks the most. I mean, if they're forming a four-person group against us, then we're kind of fucked. <laughs> but, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, if they're forming a four against us, which I doubt they are, I doubt people go there's still four of us. I think Sox has it. He's... I hated how he acted straight afterwards. He's like, oh yeah, I found where it was. Why can't we all open up to it? I thought I could trust you guys. He's pointing way too many fingers. He's doing exactly what he did. Um regarding the idol. I think he's got the advantage. He's there's no way he doesn't have it. And um, honestly, I think we need to orchestrate a, a blind side. There is I cannot stand him being here any longer.
really care that we lost the challenge because we're just going to do the same thing they're doing, except they might now have an idle clue. Fuck, why can't I? I now lost my thought. I'm saying, um, Sugar, would you be down? What did you think about us voting off um, Sock tonight? I'm not against it in the slight. I mean, here's, here's my thought process with it is we really, I mean, if us four, in theory, get through this vote with a majority, us four could really just pick and choose whenever we want who we want. I mean, I, my so only issue is that Sox could go on an immunity run, which is yeah. why I agree that we should take him out soon. But if not now, then like next. My hope is to try to use how much we trust each other to our advantage to hopefully try to blindside someone. I know that Super would be on board. And if I, I don't care if it goes wrong or blows up in my face. I am literally sick and tired of just how simple and straightforward this has gone. I'm ready to make a move. So this, if it works out, then that's great for me. If it doesn't, then, you know, at least I went out trying to make a move instead of just, you know, following the status quo. Blast from the past. Your only goal is to not be last. Jump, pull, and leave. You'll earn your keep. So it's going to be like a ready, set, whoa. Yeah, something like ready, that. Ready, set, hit the whoa. In today's Mew Challenge, it'll be separated into three sections. First six to finish the first parkour section will move on to the next round. In the next round, the survivors have to use fishing rods to pull mine carts in order to get their um, end rods. First three that finish this round will move on to the next. In the final round, the survivors will have to do some simple cobweb jumps and do an end rod tower. First person to get up the tower will win immunity. Survivors ready? Go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially me, because I was like, Because you goobered it. Yes. Oh shit. I don't know how to make this. I, I swear don't know how to make this show. It's the same two people as last time. No, that was like super. Oh lol. How do I. Survivor's ready? On, Go. Is Whatever, this I'm technically just gonna take it? Oh, oh. Oh. Ready? Go. Oh. <sighs> no. God. Ooh. That was a really laggy ball. Oh, wait, I can't, I can't place this. Whoop, blink. Oh, holy, did you guys see that? That was that pretty good, did you? Boom. Fuck. Oh my god. I, uh. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I can't reach. I can't. But I'm not lagging. You have to place some of them, like, from different spots on the pole itself. Oh. I, I felt that, okay? Uh -huh. Toad, no. inching closer to immunity. Toad, two jumps left. Toad, one it. jump left. And Toad has Thank one you. individual immunity. Dang it. Good job. Toad? He is working his way. You have one individual immunity. You are safe. You have a one in seven shot at winning this game. Cannot say it for the rest of you as everyone head back to camp. It feels so good to win that immunity because I knew that going into that last three, it was me, Boone, and Socks. And I just had to make sure Socks was the one that didn't win. Of course, Socks was the one that was closest to winning behind me. So there I am, literally shitting myself because I know that if I lose it, I could be pinned as a physical threat because I'd made it through two portions of the challenge and almost the third. It's always great to ensure your safety, but, you know, it's also great to make sure someone else doesn't have safety, especially when. You know, you're trying to orchestrate a fucking blindside on them. So hopefully, this monarchy will be no longer. I think the group is kind of splitting into two. Yeah, I don't um, really know what's happening. I wanted to ask you, what's your thoughts? I got told while we were, well, you guys were off on that re reward. What's your thoughts on getting possibly sock out in the next? I don't think doing it. I don't think right now it's the most important. Okay. Thing. Yeah. 
But I think, I don't, I do think that socks is a very, very big threat. So I just changed up the entirety of how I was game working with sugar and I kind of had this boom and booms ally, but it's clear that they just want me as a number five. I tried very, and it sucks because I tried very hard to like open them up to try and see if I could be their new person. I could be their number one. I'm doing something socks. I had to think this over a little bit and originally I'll be honest, I wasn't fully sure if I was with you, but I'm doing this out of a show that like you guys are clearly been looking out for me, you know? And I thank you. So I'm about to reveal some shit, okay? All right. Um, uh, which is basically boom aqu aqu aquatic and um, wait is that aquatic aquatic Aquarius whatever uh, Aquarius whatever so Aqu those two plus sugar and sugar's trying to get towed and then me are trying they're sent to boot out you first then following you next and then finally finishing you off after. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay okay but I'm none of their number one. But in that call right over there with Isaac and Super, at least with Super, I think, I'm actually am some people's number one. So I am their ally right now. So even though it's risky and going to four to four at eight is never a great move, I would rather do that than be known as a goat to a mob mentality. Even if they're quote, the underdogs, they sure aren't playing like it. I don't yeah. think we vote, no, but I don't think we vote. I know we don't vote Aqua because Aqua would be, be too obvious. They already know that we want yeah. Aqua out, so not Aqua. So tonight's vote looks like it could be going four to four. Everyone thinks it's rocks, but I have something called uh, Oxyclean up my ass. Yeah. Okay, so not Aqua. Then... As in, I say we vote Boom. Boom comes in here. We tell him you down for Aqua. Okay. And when he says yes and lies to our face, <laughs> we get confirmation. Oh, we'll see if I play it. I probably will because I'm not willing to go to rocks. Like with an advantage on me so we can pull something tonight we really can it just comes down to numbers and what everyone's willing to do it's completely up to you in the end and i mean i respect your decision because i know you are coming between from between uh wait so i'm not gonna lie i had no idea what you were just saying so what were you saying so between socks and aqua who do you want to take out i mean my personal opinion i would say I don't really know. I'm just trying to, you know, go with the flow, you know. I feel you. Yeah, so basically my thoughts right now is I'm definitely voting Sox. I still think that Hodka should play as idol, even if Super, for some reason, decides to side with us. I really, I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. All right, so here's here's my thinking on, like, the whole Sox versus Aqua situation. Yeah. There's pros and cons to both. So yeah. the pros for taking out Sox is Sox is very good at comps and very backstabby. At least from what I know of him. Um, so that'd be taking out a big threat, a big comp threat, and a big strategic threat all in one. But I think it makes sense for him to just play it just in case, just to be safe. Um, I know I did that before and it literally negated no votes. But honestly, I thought it was... Personally, it felt worth it. Because right after it, it gets um, the idle talk that I might have one out of the way. And then with Aqua, the only like real thing that you're getting rid of is just two jerry votes realistically yeah so i mean obviously the negative for me voting aqua is that i lose my last remaining pink ally you know what i mean i mean but, i understand your thinking yeah and then the benefit to voting socks is um well i have a better chance at winning comps and then it also gets rid of the fat like you know a bunch of other shit so like i'm it's it gave me a clean slate sort of deal now i'm working with a bunch of people and I really don't want to see Audica go, so I'm probably writing down Sox's name, unless something major happens. Alliance comes first. Do you have numbers? Who are you more like, who do you lay more trust in, Aqua or Sox? In all honesty, probably Aqua. So but... that's what oh, like... So do you want to vote? Are you voting Sox? I mean, at this point, I'll see where the numbers lie at the end, but if you're voting, I mean, I would stick to your alliances right now. Oh my god. Super got the OxyClean from Season 3. This entire round's just about callbacks to previous seasons. This is insane. I... This gives me a fighting chance of staying in this game. He can wash away one of their votes and BAM! Um, I kinda have something I need to tell you guys. What? I'm trying to figure out my loyalties right now. <laughs> Which is... Right now, there's a kind of a group forming, and it was after the reward, you know? Which yeah. is... Boom! 
aquatic and i think sugar is trying to join them with toe they were asking me to be their fifth you know yeah i i don't know that's kind of yeah it is right yeah, it's worrying I like that. yeah yeah i think I they're trying think... to take it like nor like i'll be honest i like sugar i liked working with him but he's pulling some shady stuff right now, you yeah know? my goal isn't to make everyone hate me my goal is to make everyone think everyone hates me so if this works and the oxyclean gets used tonight and i stick around supers supers pulling out the big guns here we'll have a majority and we can run with it but i think yeah, rocks is our yeah. best option here pvp trust me i know but i'm going sugar sugar's gonna leak all this all of really? this yes we have to stay Damn. like classified we've, we've entered a very critical point in the game where there is an questionable advantage play i now know i unfortunately information that my is out there that i own it to toad aqua aqua has told us that he has the idol that silver gave him and we're now in a situation where we're tied 4-4 my concern is that the extra advantage is extra um and that it will be 5-4 and this is where it's getting complicated i could play it guarantee no spot where I can try and keep it as long as possible. Keep it, the power don't get, play it. It's not that this is probably the most difficult decision I've had to make so far. Welcome, was it Grug Tribe? Welcome Grug Tribe yeah. to, Grug. to the Grug. next Tribal Council. Um, where the seventh person will be voted out. Boom! Yeah. So far, that was the first tribal that you hadn't got votes out was the last tribal. How does that make you feel? Epic. Makes me feel very epic. Even though you play an even idol. If I, even if I played an idol, it's fine. And, I, you know, it's, 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 it's whatever. That's water under the bridge. Uh, I like that saying a lot. It's my new favorite saying. Toad, how does it feel to win individual immunity? Um, I mean, every time, if you ever win individual immunity, it's going to be great. But obviously it comes with the... Back, uh, small backlash of um, people potentially seeing you as a physical threat going further, but hopefully people see me as more than just the guy who can only do parkour and can't really do anything else. Because that's exactly what I am. PVP, getting yeah. four votes last tribal is not the best thing in the world. How does that make you feel going into this tribal? That's why. I'm, but what's stressful for me is that I, like, for once in a season, I've actually made a lot of good. Instead of people just going, ah, fuck PvP, you know, he's gotta go, you know. For once, I'm actually being treated like a player. And normally, this would be really happy for me, but I actually fucking hate it this season. Because, you know, I feel like no matter how I take this game, the further I go in, it, I go in, it just gets more and more rough every vote. And I don't think I'm the only one who's thinking that way, but, you know, yeah. Sugar, coming That's back me, I guess. to Tribal Council after not winning immunity, how does that make you feel? Do you feel safe, or do you feel like you could be the one going home tonight? Sorry, I, I never feel safe unless I've got immunity, and, well, tonight I don't. Um, and knowing what could possibly happen, um, very nervous tonight, admittedly. Super, going on the reward, how was it out there? Was it a nice break from the game, or was it mostly strategy? Um, to be completely honest, it was just a small little break, and then a bit of chaos. I wouldn't call it chaos, and it wasn't that much strategizing, to be completely honest. It was kind of just messing around on the fucking boat and looking for shit. Socks, coming s oh, basically second in the challenge, do you fear that people will see you as a comp threat? You can say like, oh yeah, he got second, he's a comp threat, but each portion of that challenge was cut off from the past, and I got near last in the first two portions of it, so I was just scraping by to get to where I ended up. Aquarius, obviously there's physical threats in the game, but do you think there are other threats uh, in in the game that could be like social or strategic? Yeah, I think there's multiple different forms of threats, but I think those are revealed through, you know, alliances. And even if there's a threat that might be a social threat, but that social threat might be on the outs and they have no one to talk to anyway. I mean, I don't know. But that doesn't really have any final words. My nose stopped bleeding. Hell yeah. And, and with that, super, you're up first. Hopefully this will be your demise. Bye. If I get five four out here, I'm gonna blow my goddamn brains out. I will go tally the votes.
dude. If anybody would like to play him, you know, now would be the time to do so. Jeff. Um, Oxy? Yeah. Oh, you can go. You can go. Print. The group made a decision about who's going home tonight, and I was not a part of that conversation. So, for myself. It's for yourself. This okay. is this is a legit hit him you know, and he was cast for uh, Aquarius will not count. Well, Oxy, I happen to have another advantage called a uh, Oxy Clean. If you would like to explain, I guess. Uh, you can explain it. You can read the book. Go ahead. Yeah. Explain it to the tribe. Oh, okay. So. OxyClean was an advantage from Season 2 and 3. It's an authentic, original advantage, and it basically erases a person's vote, of which I choose, and I have chosen to erase Odka's vote. Ah, <sighs> shit. Um, you have to make a choice between loyalty and self-preservation. P, I really hope you chose loyalty. You told me that it wasn't going for me. I'm gonna play some boom. Ooh, thank you. Alright, this is a hey Mio. Uh, uh, That's a co Codename Clap. Any votes cast for Boom will not count. Alright, oh, I will read the votes. First vote. Socks. 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 That's three votes, Socks. Oh, Jesus. Dang. <laughs> Sugar. Ah, oh, fuck off. Sugar. <laughs> Sugar. Shit. That's three votes, Sugar. Oh, three God. votes, Socks. One vote left. And the seven person vote of Minecraft Survivor, the Baffin Island. Sugar, please bring me your torch. Oh my god. Oh, that's so good. Alright, Sugar, okay. please bring me your torch. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Sugar, you played a great game, but I'm sorry, the trial is spoken. It's time for you to go. I regret nothing. Good luck, guys. With two idols oh, gone and another advantage played, you guys have been playing one hell of a game. Head back to camp. I'm nearly a bit frustrated, but. I, I don't regret it. I've always, always pushed the idea of going loyal to the end, and you know, I, I knew that it, I had to do it, and I trust PvP. Yeah, hopefully, he, he gave me such a strong vibe that I was at least safe to try. <sighs> I guess I trusted the wrong person in the end. I mean, it sucks um, that that's how my game ended, but. I mean, I, I don't, I don't regret playing my idol on Boom. I, I'd do it again. I think it was inferior the smarter play, but <laughs> three of us were immune and managed to pick the wasn't. So, very well played to them.